Okay, welcome to Wayland, Michigan, General RV. This is the um, summary video completion, or mostly completion, of the crickets. So there's still a few items left to get done that we're waiting on. And this is Tony Sutton. Sure. Good morning. Service manager has been doing taking care of business. And we're going to start with a quick exterior walk around. Tony, you can take it from here, please. All right. On the back side here, we have the uh, flip out grill arm. Pop this down, pull it out, flip the grill, ready for burgers. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. Right here we have the fill for the fresh water tank. Plug in for solar. And that was added by you all? This is factory actually. Oh, fa okay, yep. factory? This is factory, yep. What about the vent there? Is that a factory the, vent? Or it's that a factory vent. So this battery. vent goes inside to the batteries. Okay, perfect. Yep. And the tires, you can see the, uh, the taller tires for flotation, the new wheels, combined with the three and a half inch uh, suspension lift. Okay, uh, I'll take picture of that later. Yep. Underneath of here, the drain for the shower goes into the same drain as the sink. Pull that open to drain it out while taking a shower, as long as you're out in, in the outback or wherever, just leave a hose and leave it open, let it go right to the ground. All right. Okay. Short cord hook up here. Okay. This is for hooking up um, a continuous water source. So if you happen to be where uh, so that's there's the a gravity, well. That's the, is that the gravity fill? Or is that no, the, the oh, gravity okay. fill is in the back. Okay, okay. that's what we discussed back there. This is just for a continuous, uh, okay. uh, if you have a well or something all right. with pressure, it would hook up here all the time. This is just a vent for the Truma water heater and uh, uh, Truma system that's inside. Okay. Right. And we have the bumpers, like the custom bumpers and the flip down legs that we did, the uh, step ladder, all this? Yep. Custom bumper and truss system underneath. Okay. Um, you could put the weight of a car on top of this bumper and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. It's got the bike rack built into the truss system. Perfect. And these legs that are here? These legs. This, um, we're going to buy pads for those legs, you think? Yeah. Yeah, there's a, the crank is inside the RV to crank them down. These are the same legs that were on it originally right. from the okay. factory. Yep. Okay. We just had to position them a different angle to match up with okay. these. Okay. And inside we have the... Well, let's go around okay. the front and show how you, how you open up to the inside. Pull this off. Make sure that lever's flipped up. Pull that out. All right. Now it's best to have two people, possibly. Um, you know, I'm gonna leave. Aaron, I want you to hold on to that, and I'll go inside. And show you how uh, to two do people that. are needed. That way, it doesn't spring up, and that way it doesn't spring up. Yeah. Okay. Interior light switches here. This is for the awning on the outside. Mm -hmm. Then we have more interior light switches here. You have a red light, back lights, and front lights. Okay. Now we get this up, pushing here, pulling that out. You can see it's starting to go up already. That's because you're telling me that these are modified. These are. They have a higher pressure rating than the stock ones to help with the extra weight from the air conditioner. Okay. Same so thing here. That's why. It's Already releases that strong weight. Already releasing. And then from the inside, you just push it up, push forward on this. And this will lock it up. Now it's locked up and it's not going to go anywhere. Alright. So the first thing on the inside is we've taken this um, Dometic refrigerator that was loose and just plugged in back there. And we've mounted on a roll. This, you can see, just yeah. tilt it like that and it goes up. Okay, so it's on a roller system that can easily be... It's on a roller system that will lock. It is plugged into 12 volt power, okay. not 110. Okay. Then here we have the shower base that, um, with the toilet that we installed. Let me get this out of the way so you can see the whole thing. 
uh, we filled in the gap back here so things can't um, fall back there and get lost. Took the air conditioner out of here. It's the same plug for the other air conditioner wired up to the new air conditioner. Toilet. Um, flush. Shower. And the curtain, as you can see, wraps all the way around. There's a cutout right here for this shower hose. The other thing is this shower hose goes right there. Perfect. And then on the bottom, you've added the Velcro. We've added the, the Velcro right to the bottom. And it just goes on there to help keep it from getting knocked out while taking a shower. Then just wrap that all the way around. You're good for your shower. Uh, there's a, another safety curtain, or I'm sorry, a privacy curtain right here to separate this area from the back area for more privacy. So what I do is I find the middle. The middle's right there like that and this goes like that this goes like that so you've got and you have a privacy curtain you have a privacy separation between the front and the back okay it comes off real easy and these are the swing beds sling bed just held up with a bungee take that bungee out 130 pound rating. Perfect for children. Everything, yeah. Everything that you see came from Cricket. The carbiners, it even says Cricket on the carbiners. Okay. All of this came from Cricket. It's a really neat system. Um, yeah, small adults or kids. It's it's perfect. Um, kids would have a ball with this. Actually, I, <laughs> it's probably not that bad for an adult to sleep up there too. And they come out real easy too. If somebody wanted to take these out, they're just held in with pins in the back, all the way in the back. You take the pins, you take these carpeners out, and uh, you know the whole thing will come right out. Down. Yeah. So let's put these back up. All right. Thank you so much. And the other one's done to the exact specifications, but we are still. Waiting on the Aussie hitches, which are, should be in Abu Dhabi now, and I'll FedEx them when I get home. And they're going to uh, modify the hitch to put those on. And what else are we missing? Is that it? Possibly jerry cans. Jerry cans, if you We're talking about adding jerry cans to the back, either on this side or the back side, the whole fuel here, or on that side by the grill. Yeah. All right.